There's love in every bit of the mishmash. The Giselle Mishmash! Hi, it's me, Giselle, and welcome to the Giselle Mishmash, where we'll have a whole mishmash of fun together. Would you like to play a guessing game with me? Okay, let's see if you can guess which is heavier. An apple or a feather? Which is heavier? That's right, an apple is heavier. Okay, how about a balloon or a car? Which is heavier? Yes, a car is heavier. All right, now one more. This one's tricky. Which one is heavier? A soccer ball or a bicycle? Well, yes, normally a bicycle is heavier, but my bicycle is teeny tiny. And so my soccer ball is heavier. <laughs> see, I told you it's tricky. Okay, let's see what else is happening here in the Giselle Mishmash. Hello, welcome, Grub. Oog, bash mun blams mun. The item you are holding is a salad spinner. Salad spinner? Mm. A salad spinner is a device that is used to dry wet lettuce. Oh. Eh. Oh, my. Oh. Eh. Baba, hey, who? I repeat, a salad spinner is a device that is used to dry wet lettuce. Oh, uh, sorry. Mm. Oh. Lem lem? The green stuff. It is wet. Lettuce. Oh, good smell. Oh, yeah. This bum is more. Oh. To dry the wet lettuce, you must push the button on the salad spinner. Oh, oh, it's blue. It's blue. Oh, it's blue. Oh, oh, it's blue. Oh, 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 Spinning the lettuce removes the water. The salad spinner dries the lettuce. Ooh. Warning, a salad spinner can make you dizzy. Ooh. Oh, 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 Warning, warning. Salad spinner. Do you ever play with building blocks? 
Well, I have some building blocks right here. So I am going to challenge myself by making a tower. I had to cut my own hair. So I figure if I could cut my own hair, then I should manage to make a tower with my building blocks. <laughs> so let's see. Well, there are a lot of shapes. Uh, these building blocks all have, yeah, some are similar, but they have a lot of different shapes. So I'm gonna show you this one. Do you know what kind of shape this is? This is called a rectangle prism. And a rectangle prism has some rectangles on it, like that, and then squares at the end. But this is called a rectangle prism. I've got plenty of rectangle prisms. These are the ones that are the same. Let's see, this one and these. Okay, so I am gonna start with the rectangle prisms to make my building. Here we go, my tower. Okay, do you like to make tall towers? I'm gonna try to make a tall tower. Mm. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna pile those rectangle prisms and these ones. Should I put it upwards like that? Maybe that's too risky. It might tumble over. I'm gonna leave it, lay it flat. Okay, what other shapes do I have? Oh, what about these ones here? Do you know what kind of shape this is? Well, you can see that there are some squares on this shape because it has four corners. One, two, three, four on this side. And then it also has four sides. So there are some squares. See if I turn around, there's some squares. But this is actually called a cube because it has all these squares all to put together and it is a cube. Look at that, that's a 3D shape. That's what that's called. And I have another cube here, a yellow cube and a purple cube. I will add them to my tower. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna put them side by side there. They're kind of lined up with my rectangle prism. And I'm gonna move on to another shape. Oh, these are all the same shapes. These guys here, including these smaller ones, they're actually all the same even though they are different sizes. Do you know what kind of shape this is called? It's the shape of a toilet paper roll, but it's called a cylinder. So these are cylinders. You see that? They have the shape of a toilet paper roll. So I am going to add these cylinders to my tower. Oh boy. Here we go. Woo! Fingers crossed it doesn't tumble in there. Put that there, and then how about this cylinder? Right here. So far, it hasn't fallen. Oh, almost shook the table there. Okay, so then I have this last shape. Do you know what this shape is called? This is called a cone. See, it has the shape of an ice cream cone. Yum. So this cone is my last shape that I'm gonna add to the tower. I'm gonna add it right on top. Fingers crossed, here I go. Oh boy, should I put it here or here? I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try for the, this skinny cylinder. Put the cone there. Hold on, let me try this hand. Oh. oh, I'm a little nervous. There we go, I did it, can you believe it? I made a tower. I love it. <laughs> now I just don't wanna move because I'm afraid that I'm gonna make it tumble. So I'm just gonna stay right here, that's right. Stay here, right here, right here with me and we'll check out a mishmash of fun. <laughs> Hi, Ziku. Oh, hi, Giselle. Are you enjoying your book? Uh-huh, but every time I read it, I start to yawn. Uh, oh, let me help you. Uh, uh, every time I read a page, I get really sleepy. Oh, um, well, I think it is your nap time around now, isn't it? Yeah but I don't want to fall asleep. Uh. Oh, Ziku, 
Oh, uh, Ziku. Oh, I think Ziku fell asleep. What? Did you say I fell asleep? Oh no! Ah, I don't want to fall asleep. Well, why don't you want to fall asleep, Ziku? Because, well, if I fall asleep, then we won't be together. Oh, you're afraid that if you're asleep, then we won't be together? Mm-hmm. Well, Ziku, even if you're asleep, we're still together. Oh. Yeah, I mean, maybe you should try and fall asleep and then, oh, maybe you'll have a dream and we'll be doing something extraordinary together. I guess. <sighs> but I would miss you. Oh, well, Ziku, listen, it's really important that you take a nap because it, a nap will energize you and then you'll be in a much better way so that we can have a lot more fun when you wake up. Oh. I like to have fun. Uh... Oh, uh, Ziku? Right. We'll have some fun when you wake up. <laughs> I am very excited because I have lots of masterpieces for my mantelpiece. Woohoo! Let me show you. Look at this masterpiece. This is made by Quentin, who's from Montreal West in Quebec, Canada. And Quentin has drawn a nice ghost giving me, Giselle, a blueberry and a Ninja Turtle toy. How awesome is that? You have a huge imagination, Quentin. Thank you for this. I love the friendly ghost and I love blueberries. So thank you, friendly ghost. And thank you, Quentin. This masterpiece shall go right here on my mantelpiece. Ah, beautiful. Next I have, ooh, this is Lucia's masterpiece. This is very cool, Lucia. Lucia is five years old from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And Lucia has drawn a tree house in the sun. And what's very cool is that Look at this, Lucia, I believe you have traced a hand to design your treehouse. That's so amazing. And I love that you used all these vibrant colors to color in your treehouse in the sun. Awesome. Thank you, Lucia. Your masterpiece shall go here on my mantelpiece. And then, ah, Maria's masterpiece. Oh, Maria is from Stouffville, Ontario, Canada. Thank you, Maria, for the rainbow. Have you ever seen a rainbow? Oh, they're just stunning. Rainbows in the sky always have such beautiful colors like this rainbow. Oh, it's so nice. It's all those rich colors. And I also like this person here. Is that me? I'm wondering if that's me because we look like twins. Check it out. We both have dark hair and we are wearing red. And she has a bow in her hair, like me. Ah, I love it, little twinsies. Thank you so much, Maria. Your masterpiece, I shall put there. And then I have one more masterpiece. This masterpiece is made by Santosh, who's, who's five years old or turns five years old in May. Santosh, it's May now, so happy birthday to you, Santosh. Welcome to your fifth year. And Santosh is from Toronto, and this is a leopard shark. Isn't that amazing? A shark that is spotted like a leopard. I think that's just so amazing and beautiful. I love your leopard shark. And you know what, Santosh? When you sent me this, I did a little research, and I discovered that a leopard shark can live up to 30 years old. Now you're five years old, so that is six times your age. Look at that leopard shark. I've never had a leopard shark on my mantelpiece. This is so great. Thank you for that. Oh, look at all of my beautiful masterpieces on my mantelpiece. I hope that you will send in a masterpiece for my mantelpiece. You can do so by asking a grown-up to help you take a picture of one of your masterpieces and then you upload it to the contact page on my website, which is 
GiselleMishmash.com. A grown-up can help you to organize this, and then what I do is I print your masterpiece, and then I display it here. So please do so, and uh, have a great week. I'll see you next week. So I'll see you soon, and uh, take care, and thank you for all of these beautiful masterpieces again. Okay, bye-bye. See you then. Mm-hmm. <laughs>